Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. Let's take a look at how we can create a uh, contact sheet or a PDF contact sheet inside of Lightroom. Okay, now first of all I've created a collection uh, of some of the images that I'd like to appear in my contact sheet. Okay, so we have uh, the collection here. You'll also notice there's a little plus uh, next to my uh, collection here. That's because I made it a target collection. If we just right click on there, you can make any collection a target target collection and then it's simply a question of going through your folders in your library module and pressing the letter B uh, to direct uh, an image from your uh, catalogue into the target collection. Okay, so uh, I have the film strip available. Okay, I'm going to select all of the images because I want them all to appear in my contact sheet. So I'm just going to do Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC so they're all selected and then I'm going to come over to the print module Okay, now you'll see I've already got something uh, set up here. Let's just take that back to one of the presets because uh, you're not going to be able to create this off the bat without uh, doing a little bit of work. Okay, so we have some uh, Lightroom templates here and if I just uh, scroll down you'll see that there is a couple of contact sheet options here. So let's take a look at that 4-5 contact sheet. Okay, so what we're getting in here is we're getting a, a cell, a square cell size. Okay, um, what I'm losing, however, is uh, my screen real estate really isn't working for me now because it's uh, pitched the uh, the page orientation as vertical. And if you're working on a small laptop screen as I am today, uh, then you're probably going to want to look at those thumbnails a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to uh, page setup, and I'm going to choose um, format for any printer, not just uh, the couple of printers that I have access to here. And I'm also going to switch the orientation uh, to a landscape and then select OK. OK, so that's uh, that's working out a little bit better for me here, OK, because I can see more of the image. Now you can make some uh, minor modifications over here in um, in the layout style. It's, it's already selected because of that um, preset or template into contact sheet. We do have the option of um, rotating to fit. Uh, so if we wanted some of those um, verticals to rotate if our cell size wasn't square. But in this case the cell size is square so we don't really need to adjust that. Okay, also if we come down to the layout, here is the number of cells Okay, in the rows and columns. We'll also find that um, some of the, uh, the titles of the images are getting a little bit close to the image underneath. So I'm just going to add some cell spacing. I'll just highlight that field and just bump that up a couple uh, so we can separate out those titles. Okay, let's coming down and uh, we can have a look at uh, some other options here. Now uh, we have the photo info selected. Okay, uh, that little box is checked and we have file name. Now you can override the file name and go through to title if you've been um, changing the names of the files. Okay, I'll just go down to title and sometimes uh, it's much better for maybe uh, a client to see uh, what you've named the images rather than the file names which might just be a series of numbers that the camera has allocated to the files. Okay, so um, now that I'm uh, really good to go or um, in preparing to save this, um, we're, it's going to presume that I'm still going to print to a printer. So I'm going to come over to the print settings button here and I'm going to click on that. And uh, instead of choosing again the printer that um, uh, Lightroom can see or my default printer, I'm going to come down to this uh, PDF option in the lower left hand corner. And I'm going to choose not the save as PDF, but uh, save as Adobe PDF. Okay, this ensures that when I hit the print button, it knows to send it to PDF or print a PDF rather than sending it to my printer. So once I've set all of this up, um, I probably want to hit create save print um, just in case I want to come back at this, um, this contact sheet at any time in the future and make a few modifications. So I'm just going to call this my uh, landscape uh, contact sheet and it's going to be saved in the, um, the collection with my landscape images. So that's, that's quite nice and we'll hit create there. 
The other thing that I want to do is because I've uh, overridden some of the uh, default settings, I want to create my own custom template here. So let's just come over to the templates, the template browser here, and click on this little plus icon. And I'm going to call this my MG uh, contact sheet. Okay, so I don't have to look at those settings every time. I can just click on this preset and I'll come back to this, uh, my favoured setup here. And I'll hit create. And if we uh, just collapse the Lightroom templates, uh, you'll see that I've created a number of um, different um, presets that I can use. Okay, so once we've done that, uh, we're ready to print. So let's just hit the print button. Um, this will uh, take a little bit of while as it prepares uh, the images, depending on how many images that you're printing to PDF. And then we're going to get up um, this little save as Adobe PDF uh, dialog here. And it's inviting me to choose a quality setting. Uh, I, even if this is intended just for screen viewing, I would um, tend to choose high quality print. And this will make sure that we can actually zoom into some of the thumbnail images and uh, discern the quality or information in that little cell there. So now I'm going to hit continue. It's going to ask me where I would like uh, to save this. If this is a, um, a contact sheet destined for a client, I might be tempted to put my name and my initial and uh, the job number. I'll call it uh, A2 here. And I'm going to send this to the desktop and hit save. Okay, so um, and that is basically, in a nutshell, um, how we create um, a contact sheet PDF. And uh, it's nicely opened it up inside of Acrobat for me. And if you don't have Acrobat, you'll need to um, download Acrobat Reader um, to make sure that we can actually open the Adobe PDF in a piece of software. And you will see that I can zoom in, and these images uh, will... Oops, that was, that was a find. I'll just uh, zoom in, okay, and uh, in order to uh, take a closer look at those images. So I'll just do Command Plus on the Mac or Control Plus on a PC, and you'll see these images stand up to um, a little bit of zooming so we can actually see uh, um, more detail or information. And that's because it's a print quality PDF. Okay, so um, there it is, the overview for creating a contact sheet inside of Lightroom.